What's going on? It's Jesse. Welcome to the video and thank you so much for tuning in. In today's workout, I'm going to share with you an arms and abs workout that you can do with just a set of resistance bands. This workout is going to be best utilized as an accessory workout or an additional optional workout or like an active rest day as part of your program, or you can use it while you're traveling. And as you can imagine, we're going to be hitting the biceps, the triceps, and the core. Now, if you just want to see the exact workout and the amount of sets and reps I want you to do, I'll put it up here so you can screenshot it. But I really recommend taking two or three minutes just watching the rest of the video so that I can walk you through the proper technique, the proper form, and the tempo that I want you to use for each exercise. And if you give this a try and end up liking this video and workout, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I make more videos and workouts just like this every single week. All right, let's get into the workout. So. The first exercise is actually going to be a superset, meaning we're going to do two exercises back to back, then we'll take our rest and we'll go back and repeat for set number two. So we're going to do three sets of this superset. The first exercise is going to be resistance band curls. Now based on the type of resistance band that you have, you may do this standing with the band anchored down by your foot, or you may actually do this kneeling. Uh, if it's a tighter resistance band, you may do it kneeling. And for these curls, what we want to do is use a very slow and controlled tempo, keeping the tension on the bicep throughout the entire movement and make sure that our arms are fully extended by our sides at the bottom of the movement so we're going through the full range of motion. Now, once you've done your 15 reps of curls, you're immediately going to transition to our tricep exercise, which is a diamond push-up, basically keeping your hands very close together and narrow. This is going to put more focus on the triceps as opposed to the chest like a normal push-up. You're going to drop your body all the way down until your chest hits the floor and then push all the way up for 20 total reps. Now, if you can't do a full 20 reps going through the full range of motion, that's fine. Just do as many as you can, whether that's six or 12, or maybe it's 35, you want it to be challenging. And once you've done your three sets of that superset, you're gonna move on to a second superset. So two more exercises here. The first one is going to be hammer curls with the resistance band. And the second one is going to be tricep extensions. So for these hammer curls, it's the same exact movement as normal curls, only we're gonna keep a neutral grip. So if you've got resistance bands with handles on them, you may actually wanna just hold the band itself and not hold onto the handle. And again, you can do these standing if it's challenging with your band when standing up, or you can drop it to the ground and do a kneeling hammer curl. Three sets of 20 reps for this. So once you've completed your 20 hammer curls, we're going to transition to the tricep extensions. And for this one, you're gonna to need to find somewhere to anchor the resistance band, whether it's a door knob or the top of a door or somewhere else that is relatively high. And in most cases, you're gonna do this kneeling. So you're gonna kneel down, you're gonna hold the band itself and you're gonna pull down and apart, almost like you're doing a cable rope press down at the gym on a cable machine. So we're gonna do 20 reps of this, really squeezing the tricep at the bottom of the movement when our arms are fully extended and really feeling the contraction there. So now that we've got two supersets that are arm focused out of the way, we're gonna go on to our first core exercise, which is going to be leg raises. So you're gonna lay down flat on your back on the floor and you're gonna keep your legs fully extended out in front of you and you're going to do 15 leg raises for four total sets. And this is gonna be very controlled and very slow tempo. It's gonna be harder that way, but it's gonna be more productive for your core than if you're going really, really fast or if your legs are flailing all over the place. So once you've done your four sets of leg raises, then you will move on to our next core exercise, which is bicycles. So you're gonna stay laying on your back for this exercise. You're gonna use a very slow and controlled tempo, and we're gonna use a two second pause for each twist that you're doing with this exercise. So we're gonna do three sets of 20 reps total. So you're gonna hit each side 10 times. And again, you're gonna pause for two seconds with each twist to make it even harder. Now our final exercise for the workout is gonna be a side plank. We're gonna do three sets of 30 seconds on each side. Now this one's gonna be hard. We wanna keep our elbow almost directly under our shoulder and we wanna make sure our hips are not sagging down to the ground. We wanna make sure we're really creating that bridge and that side plank that isn't slouching and that we're in proper posture for this exercise to really engage the core properly. 
So make sure you're squeezing your core the entire time and breathing throughout these 30 seconds and then you'll switch over to the other side. And there you have it. That is our arms and abs resistance band workout. Now, what I would say is if this was super hard for you and really, really challenging, maybe reduce each set by one. So if I tell you to do three sets, so if I tell you to do three sets, maybe you only do two. Now on the inverse of that, if this was like super easy and you breeze through this, maybe do the opposite. Add an extra set for every exercise that I tell you. And also I would challenge you to really focus on using a slow and controlled tempo contracting the muscle at each and every rep. Maybe even try to double up the resistance band to make it thicker and make it way harder. And if you gave this workout a try, I would love to hear down below in the comments how it went for you and how you liked it. But I do wanna leave you off this video with a little mini disclaimer that this workout is obviously not designed specifically for you as an individual, right? I may not know who you are at all. I may not know if you have injuries, what your current fitness level is, what your experience is, what your goals are even. And, you know, I tried to put together the best possible arms and abs workout with resistance bands that is well balanced, that is a good outline. But if you want to see the best possible results and you want to create the best physique possible for your body, it's obviously going to be advantageous to follow a customized routine that's meant specifically for you and pairing that with a proper nutrition protocol and getting some accountability as well. So if that's what you want and that's what you're really looking for, go ahead and apply below for my Modern Man Coaching Program. That's exactly what I do for my clients in that group and I promise that I will do everything I can to try to help you hit your goals and we'll do it together. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.